Hi, it's great to be back and lovely to have you watching. If you saw my recent video on milling blanks, you'll know I was doing that to make a uh, joined chest. And here's the finished thing. As you can see, it is small, a very useful box though. And you could scale this up to two, three, even four times as big using the plans that I've got available for it. So keep watching and I hope you enjoy it. Splitting the blanks from the logs was uh, made more difficult by the fact that there were some knots in them and the grain wasn't particularly straight. So I needed wedges as well as the frame. I used a hatchet, scrub plane and bench planes to get the blanks made. Uh, you can see more details in the dedicated video. The blanks had all had a few weeks to dry a little bit before I got on with the joinery. I made sure to true them up before I started. Having chopped the mortises, I joined them together with a little groove that will hold one edge of the panel. The rails got a groove ploughed ready for the panels. Because the tenons meet in the corners, they need to be uh, mitered.
whole framework is going to be held together by pins using a draw bore technique, which I shall do a separate video about. But you can see all the steps here. to use some wooden hinges, really quite simple, which I shall end up gluing to the lid. It does necessitate rounding off the, the back of the legs and a little bit from the back rail. <laughs> 